Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <laughs> Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Huh, <laughs> besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. 
I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that Famas functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Oh, eh. 
It hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Hurry. Uh, please, make love to me.
Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out.
Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful psychokinetic and telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. But five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became sort of a psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Ah! Stop! 
stop! Meryl! is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. <sighs> the Overland Route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. 
It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. 
You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go.